<clears throat> Hi, everybody. Uh, Twisted D four E here, and I'm um, welcoming you to, I guess, my part one of me reading uh, the fan what patch fan fiction story one in Vermilion, uh, which is Stella Vermilion from the anime The Chivalry of a Failed The Chivalry of a Failed Knight. I uh, don't know the other translation ti translated title. I'm going by the title I usually see it as, which is the Chivalry of a Failed Knight. In this case, it's Stella X Reader. Uh, however, in my reading of this, it's uh, my my one of my uh, my main uh, OC character Stella. Uh, no, it's Stella Vermilion X Jaden Cook. I initially was going to use Aaron Winter for this, but then I thought. I wrote a fan, I believe at one point in time on Wattpad, I wrote a fanfic story, a very brief, like one shot kind of story with Jaden and Stella, uh, who I'll just probably shorten his name to Jay, Jay Cook or something like that. And actually, his name, the whole name does get changed at some point. That's besides the point. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use Jay Cook for this, uh, for this story, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, sorry, I was checking something. All right, anyway. <clears throat> uh, please, I'm giving a big shout-out here to Relentless41. Uh, he's the main creator of, of some... Uh, he was the main creator of the story I read about last time, or recently, uh, did a part one for it, which is my pawn, uh, Rias uh, X Reader. And so this is one of his... This is probably, along with this... The Konako one, the Zenovia one, and everything else. This is probably my favorite one because I have a big, say it's weird or not, crush on Stella Vermilion. She's so sassy, but she's also so level headed, in my opinion, that I really, I don't know what it is. I just really, really like her as a character. But anyway, uh, okay, so here we go. I can't believe this is it. Finally able to get out for a while and explore. I hate leaving mother behind, but at least I don't get to see father whenever he feels like it. I just wish she had treated everyone fairly. I feel terrible my mom is going to remain here alone, but I have no choice. You are in your room finishing uh, finish, finishing, uh, packing up your things so you can board the plane tonight. Time to have a last meal with your mother before you take off. It was a bittersweet day. Though it was not time to be negative. Today was a uh, time to look forward to your training and what to do next. Your mother had served you a plate and sat down with you. Hope you enjoy the meat made it for you before your trip. Always. Thank you. Just kind of feel bad le leaving. Don't want you. I don't want you alone. Well, Jay, that's why I go to club meetings as well. Ladies have get have get togethers whether or not their marriage is well or not. Mom. The thing is, Sune is going on a separate flight. He's leaving next week because of something Eric has going on. Mother, what is my father up to, you asked? You mean besides mistresses, a concubine, and forgetting my son? I don't know. I do my, my best to pay no mind to that poor excuse of a man. I couldn't care less about his battle record. 70 and 13. Still gives him the right to be a bastard, Sir uh, Eric Von Cook. It, it's, it sounds silly just saying it like that, to be honest. <laughs> yes, indeed. The only jealous to be is being oh, no, only jealous is being able to have strength like him, Eric von Cook, the great, the Viking of great strength. And I'm the son, but Blade he uses us as a butter knife. Your mother shook her head. When you get to school and train, I promise you'll get better results. You don't have to swing a massively heavy weapon. It's about how you win. You're twelve and two in a blazer fight. Tell that to, old, to the old man, Ma. Forget that man. I have you. And forget Sune. He's a poor piece of testosterone. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, you take another bite of your dinner. First off, as always, the meat is great. And second off, Sune is just a reckless meathead. Flick father, but a much lower IQ. 
Your half brother isn't the sharpest tool, knife in the drawer. Hell, he might be met just just be a handle with the missing plate. <laughs> Father's blessing or not, he's a dumbass. Jay, I'll let that slide, but not at the table. Apologies, you can bow your head. Not taken. Fine. Finish up and let's get you to relax a bit before you board the plane. Good call. Thanks, Ma. Thanks again, Ma. I will make you proud. You're the only one on my side here, outside of Grandma and Auntie, but I don't think they understand the whole story. How I'm basically his disappointment from, from here on this day, Eric Vaughn, father or not, I will not play as uh, the son, a son as a poor excuse. I, one day we will fight, and if I win, I will actually earn your respect even though I don't want it. And this is him giving context to one of his other stories. For any of you that read my canonical story, if you thought lightning was bad, uh, for clarity, lightning was the abusive brother of your character in the Konoko story. Uh, I think Eric is way worse. You shall see what time as he is about to fly to the academy and go from there tomorrow. Um, but anyway, yeah, so next is chapter one. Yeah, I think in my mind, uh, Jay, it's gonna, it's, I'm going to just say Jay, or I might even just give a random name, even though it's not very consistent. So I apologize because I'm not consistent with the name of my character. It's just I thought in my head, because my one of my variations of Jay Cook, or whatever the fuck I call him now, was uh, Kiba Yuto from High School DxD. And so, and since he was more of a sword swordsman, I thought that would make more sense. But now I'm thinking about it. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's Aaron or Jade or Jay, I guess. So I guess it'll be Aaron. I don't know. I apologize. I don't know what I'm doing fully, to be honest. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. When you finally arrived down from the sky into the airport, you slept for most of the trip. At least you were able to get a good class seat with leg room, a blanket, and bottles of water. By the time you received your luggage, a cab was waiting. Uh... Only within an hour drive from the giant campus. A bittersweet moment being away from home. Wanting to be on your own, but wanting your mother a reasonable distance uh, uh, away and not suffering as much. Meetings are not undeserving of being near your father. The yellow car stopped. This was it. You grabbed your two bags and it took off. You look up at the view. Yes, I'm here. This is the great Hagoon Academy. Here I go to see if I'm a failure or not. At the gate, someone was waiting. Uh, the woman was leaning against the post and smoking a cigarette. So, kid, can I get a name? Aaron Winter of Denmark. She smiled. Oh, good. I've been expecting you. Follow me. I have a uh, room set up. Your roommate has been waiting. He has, you ask? She actually. Huh? Clueless. One would think dormitory style would be same gender. She's a nice girl. Don't worry. Okay, sure thing. You walk over and just see how big it is from the arena to the main buildings. The dorms that look like apartments on the outside and the grounds have sh the greenest shi shiny grass. Wow, I'm lucky to be here. You gazed at your surroundings. One thing that's good about my name, I guess. You didn't get, get in because I saw your name. I paid no mind to that. I had two matches of yours scouted. I gave you the nod. I was the one that made arrangements personally because I wanted you here. Really? You almost dropped your bags. You know who I am, kid? She asked. Wait, you're D Director Kur uh, Kurono Sh Shinguji. Apologies if I'm butchering that. Nice to meet you. You're in good hands here. She showed you the door to your room. Rest up. Classes are tomorrow. Uh, books are on the desk and your roommate knows the deal. You're delighted that the director was so gr uh, so great from first impression. You're amazing. Just keep your nose clean and work hard, Aaron. That's all. My first name, not my last. Your half-brother and father have a wicked bad taste in my mouth. I'd rather not if you don't mind. You smiled. Aaron, it is. Thank you, director. Have a good one. Then you open the door to see who's inside. Hello? Hey, need a hand? A woman a little shorter than you with black hair... Uh, middle of her neck, lavender eyes, and a busty yet elegant figure. I'm Elise. How is your journey? Uh, I'm Aaron. Thanks for the hand, Elise. So where are you from? Denmark and you? I'm from here, just on the other side of the country. Nice. 
Uh, so Elise, I, I kind of never shared a room before, but I'm not some dirty pig or anything. And any rules you have set in place? I'm sorry if it's a little awkward for you having a guy in here and such. She laughed. Not at all. You want to know what the funny part of it, it is? Uh, is too that helps. I can't imagine. She winked at you. I'm not into boys, so I'm fine with it at all. Wait, so you're lesbian, dude? I'm a lesbian. I like tits. I'm pretty sure you do too. <laughs> Come on, let's take a low, uh, load off and chill out. Unpack, put sheets on, shower off, whatever. Oh, and the top bunk is mine. Not sure where it was going, but I had to ask the bed, right? Both, she laughed. Right, thanks, Elise. Yes, yes, quite right. When you get settled, we can head to brunch and I can show you around the place. Fine class is easier. Then maybe have you meet some of our of the other students around. Be careful, though. Some of the higher ranking uh, blazers are big heads and things that can bully people. I've heard of an F rank blazer here is actually pretty good. If that's the case, why is he ranked so low? At least side. Unfortunately for Iki, he is not a blazer really, but he can fight as one of the best swordsmen you will ever see. I watched him since the beginning. From afar, his recent uh, roommate in A ranked. Uh, Blaze, uh, Blazer Princess Stella Vermilion lost to him. Vermi oh my god, she's here, you cried? Oh yeah, big hair, uh, pink hair, lo long sword, big rack, that's her. Eh, lost to the last part. Dude, again, I, I just, I like babe, just like you do. Come on now. Gotcha. Just not used to a woman saying lewd stuff. Yeah, yeah, hurry up so I can eat, uh, and give you the tour. Who knows? We might be able to learn something. Thanks again, Elise. Though my roommate might actually be a really sweet best friend just need to get used to her fair point to be fair very fair point because i feel like someone just being blatantly like saying like hey i'm i'm a lesbian and it's kind of it's kind of hard to under get used to i assume i don't know for sure but anyways Rumi packed you in quite nicely as she's going to show you around the place which is nice because you know your future, you know your way for future reference. As she when get, uh, soon he gets here, gets there in a week, it will be a nightmare. Enjoy, so this is like an author's note kind of thing. You and Elise had finished brunch, uh, brunch in the dining hall. Elise looked out of the window as the best part of the day was here, bright and warm outside. Though she was a little curious about yourself, so I know this might be a little hard. But tell me about yourself, like fighting or you, not what's in the arena yourself i mean you kind of get me i'm just a loud caring lesbian who's an average fighter you seem to be blunt with it but i think you have more to you i mean how many people know of your preference actually man not many at first i didn't want any of the slander for it which is completely fair i say say i'm up front now family doesn't approve but it's not like i have anything going for me they thought learning to fight would make me a good make me a good housewife jesus fucking christ well, sadly, I might adopt, but I don't see myself being a stay-at-home person. Got to get out there, dude. Think of it, dude. You become an A rank or F rank, you're still a housewife. How do you have goals around that? I want to cook, want to sail, try some stuff as long as it's not life-threatening. Hartford, open up, but since you were bound to find out anyways, why not? Well, it's a lot on my end. Ready? You face her all ears. You ever hear of Eric Von Winter, the Viking? Heard of him? Wait, you're one of his kids? Firstborn wants nothing to do with me. His other one, Sune, is coming here in a week. I am not happy about it. Sune meets sons where I come from. We are three months apart. My father, Eric Vaughn, had a mistress and she couldn't get pregnant. So here comes the concubine and Sune comes in. He was always in the shadow, but after he found out the way I fight, I can't possess the strength he or Sune, uh, Sune have. Eric uh, Vaughn wields a, a massive axe, Malmalka. Sunni well, wields the same size weapon, yet in a Warhammer Giacara. I just have two short so so swords, Ki and Chi. I'm laughed and shung among those two and the ones that kiss ass here to Denmark and back. But yet, if I can beat Sune by a hole in his defense, defensive stance, and I think he's mine. Jeez, sounds like you got it rough. I'll make him my prey. Damn it, kid. How the hell do you do it? <laughs> Eric Vaughn wasn't the great father. Luckily, my mother, who is no longer with him, took priority. My record is 12 and 2, which is good. I hope I can achieve more than my father. And but I hope uh, and I hope I get even with Sune. My first battle was against him in laws. Basically, I looked I was looked at as a loser, and he's been a prick ever since. Well, kick his ass for me. Please. Ugh, another reason I don't like men. Selfish garbage. Well, at least you're catching on. Shall we go? 
Yes, let's go through the outside campus. Inside the buildings are all labeled. A dream, right? That's awesome. Unlike those idiots I've mentioned, I can I can think properly and navigate. I'm not an assorted meathead. The long walk felt good. The breeze only slightly, uh, only slightly, and the whole area was just beautiful. From the building structures to the park, it was the real deal. No fake show in the sense. It was all authentic. The director did her part in keeping the place up to code. Both of you uh, ended up uh, ending up by one of the fields, watching two people run, then stopping for a rest. Hey, Iki, Elise, uh, Elise waved. Oh, hey, how are you doing? He and the reddish uh, pink haired girl walked over. This friend of yours, uh, his roommate, he asked, what's going on? Uh, Aaron Winter, you introduce yourself. Iki, and this is, he looks over the shy princess. You bow your head. Lady Stelvermillion, it's a pleasure from Denmark. By any chance, you know, uh, Eric Vaughn. You sighed. Great broken record today. Sweet Jesus. Unfortunately, is it what I think it is? Pondered Stella. That I see him as a bad father to me and everyone asked about it. Pretty much my old goal is to defeat Sune and maybe one day my father. 70 and 30, 13 is a tall order, but why does he act the way he does? Many reasons. He had my Sune, my half-brother with the concubine for his second wife. I may know of a main reason, but as a whole, he's dirt. Understandable, I had her train myself, but still, I never had that treatment. Iki looked down. Well, here I am. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Here I am now. I start with the 10 kilo warm-up, and if, and if I want to be the best and graduate at the winter tournament, no one will get in my way. That was heartwarming. Warming. The fact Iki couldn't get any needed interaction with anybody, almost as if they hoped for him to fail, to somehow die off, though this wasn't the case. Well, Iki, can I say something? He smiled. Of course you may. Both of us, to a different, to different degrees, have been left behind and mistreated. Forgotten about. We are Avengers and we'll have no one standing in our way. I will fight in that tournament and I hope we don't fight each other. And so help me if I do. May the best man win. You got it? Yes, I do. Give me that man handshake. You luck right in. Going to be on my toes now. I knew we were special. I am a regular and I am, I am the irregular disappointment. So what? Got me there? Exactly. And we are going to show these idiots who's who. Yes, we will, Aaron. Welcome. Uh, so, again, another author's note here. Stella has three people in front of her that come from very different lifestyles. One was forgotten, one replaced, and the other not paid close attention to. So i thinking, unless I'm wrong here, I believe the idea would be that the forgotten one is Iki, the replaced one is Aaron, or the, your character, the reader, I guess, and not paid close attention to one is Elise. And then there's Stella. The, the blonde, the boom... Bombshell princess, her uh, her emotions are held so far, but her, for how long? It bothers me when it does this crap. All right, I think I'm going to go up to, for this part here, I think I'm going to go up to at least four chapters, I believe. And then I'll figure out when I'll post the next one. Uh, chapter three, Rivals. Really hard to separate the two, but I have some idea. Oh, because I think in the last one, it was he was talking about how, because I think in the beginning, it, he was... He said he was trying to figure a way of, I guess, somewhat set separating, um, mm, separating uh, Iki from Stella. Because obviously, in the anime, if you know the anime, they eventually become a couple. So in this case, he's trying to make it. You know, the reader's trying to be, I guess, with Stella, whereas Iki's either he's still in the story, but he's not going after Stella. I guess. Before you took off that night, you scheduled a train a train uh training morning with Iki and Stella. It was a finish of ten miles, and you're just using your natural ability, not your blaze. Though once you're sitting down, getting some electrical intake, you sat down with the two. Good morning, Iki. Though so it's nice to take the time and slow down during these. I see the progress better. What do you mean? asked Iki. My blaze is actually speed related. It's not strength. I'm actually very weak, which is why my father doesn't pay me much pay me no mind. Cell is in shock. You're telling me because you aren't some overly strong guy, he's a deadbeat, she gasped. Pays the alimony, alimony, and I rarely see him. It's just pulling teeth to sit right next uh, sit next to him. You shake your head. She didn't worse. You take a sip. Stella looked in her back. Where is it? She went through every pocket. Come on, she complained. You okay over there? Asked Iki. Uh, left my drink, left uh, my drink at home. Ugh. Catch, you put the top on and, hand, and underhand it to her. She caught it. Hey, this is yours. Go for it, Lee. Stella, I'm good. 
Ender a kiss, she mumbled. Please, uh, just Stella. Yeah, no need for formalities, Stella insisted. All right, makes us seem closer. Didn't think I would ever have the honor, but you're really welcome, Stella. And you as well, Iggy, for leading the way. Yeah, today's going to be a good today, uh, day. My sister's going to be here now. It's been a while. Iki smiled. The final while. You, uh, Iki gazed at the sun rising. I haven't seen uh, Shizuku in four years. I can't tell you how happy I am. Jeez, I would take a sister of Sune. This is not a close friend, right? Stella asked. By blood on both sides, Iki sweat dropped. Jesus, this woman thinks very fast to book. Oh, well, I have a friend who basically is going to sl- turn slow, uh, who's basically going to slowly turn to my best friend. He chuckled. Not you too, freak Stella. Elise is amazing, Stella. Truly, she's great. She's lesbian and acts like a guy, but you can tell she's a girl. Right. Awkward silence as she sipped on the drink you gave her. Sorry and thanks again. Sure, nothing about it. Best to let it go. After changing, the three of you meet up with uh, with Lisa and start walking around the main building, seeing familiar faces and heading to classes as usual. She had gotten some beauty sleep and was smiling at the sunny sky. How's the workout with these two, Rumi? She asked. Good. How was your rest? Not not bad. Got to walk around and make breakfast in my boxers. Pretty good, man. She chuckled. Uh, no response there. Hey, that's lewd, pointed out Stella. Sorry. Not like I'm trying to get a guy's attention. Just calling it as such. At least did have a careless filter. No surprise there. Just kind of putting it out on the table. I guess so. You look around. Does anyone get the idea we were being followed? No idea. Pondered Iki. All of you look around. I mean, many people in school uniforms. Not like anyone sticks out. Maybe by hair color or eyes soon. Only Iki knows what she looks like. It's you, said a soft voice. Iki turned around. Hey, whoa. Shizuku, it's really you. Hey there, big brother. Onichan. The petite, white-haired girl smiled. Beat me to it, he smiled. I miss you so much, so that uh, so that's why I couldn't wait. Can I get a kiss, a long, passionate one, she asked. Huh? You guessed? Excuse me, what the hell, horrified. Stella, hey. <laughs> Dear God. Hey there, Holly. Chill out. Suzuku pushed Iki into the support pillar and kissed him. Iki held her by his shoulders as people stared. Uh, Shizuku... What's going on? You cried. I don't know, but it's weird, said Stella. I'm showing Bond to the most important loving person in my life. Why can't I? It's agreeing in most countries. Shizuku was trying to get him under her spell, but no one here is having it. Not in Denmark, you reasoned. Or any country, argued Stella. Ignore him, Oni-chan. It's been four years and I missed you. I want cuddles from you. It's not strange. <laughs> oh dear fucking god <laughs> fucking <laughs> yes it is bark to you Stella Elise and the others watching this isn't right said Iki trying to dig himself out I can tell it's what you want Shizuku smirked Okay, that does it. Stella pulled on the girl's waist, able to throw her off of them. You going to sit there or you control yourself, you pervert, argued Stella. Thanks, Stella. So you're the famous Princess Stella, she glared psychological into her mind. I advise you to back off of him. Looks like someone's got to do it, right, Rumi? At least nudged your arm. That's impossible. I have stake in this, too. He's my roommate. Oh, and servant, this true, big brother? Because if it is, I'll free you. She called forth her device. She's fought water, not in fire. I'll win. No, it's against the rules, Iki cried. Leviathan. Dang, I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Stella summoned her device too. Stella, don't you get in trouble now, trying to get her to cool off. Your device is fragile looking like you, T. Stella. Oh, dear God. And yours is like you. No taste class and obviously oversized. Typical. Shizuka smiled. Jealous of my uh, assets. Fat. Ugly. Uh oh. You and Elise look at each other and turn away as these girls are about to clash. In doing so, creating a loud boom and a cloud of smoke. They didn't know. Please don't tell me my crush is expelled. Ha. Knew you liked her. At least pad your back. Uh, well, she'll be fine. Best of luck, dude. Make a move soon before Handsome over there makes a move. He has the advantage right now. Right after we find out her punishment. Maybe I can ask the director if you think I have a chance. Only way is your uh, only one is in your way, Rumi. Chase, uh, chase that sweet ass, will you? Okay then. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so this is uh, yeah, so, uh, so chapter four. This is going to be the last bit, I think, for now, and then I'll figure which other one I'm reading. Mm. Uh, time to have a heart to heart. After a long day's work, one like to stand in some some of the vent too, shall we? With the lease hanging to the ruined dorm to kick back and relax, you're outside with a minute or two to compose yourself. Cell is going to be out momentarily. Got the word that she was spending the whole afternoon watching every girl's restroom floor as punishment for her class with Shizuku, which both warned firmly at the time. Fire and ice at a great swing caused a bang and a great amount of smoke. No one could miss it, including the director who laid down the punishment. Still was a little worn out after cleaning for so long, and with a bad atmosphere, you see Aaron offer her water bottle. Sorry about that, you smiled. Thanks. Pipsqueak doesn't know when to cut it out. Did you two argue the whole time you were being punished? You sweat dropped. Apparently, want to fake fun my body? Hmm, not happening. Well, I'm glad you're. St I'm glad you're confident with yourself. You should be late, Stella. Sorry, still adjusting. You smiled. You like how I look or something? Beautiful, like most princesses. What else can I say about it? Well, at least he's sincere about it. Aren't you in the sense up there? Your father is uh, at your lead side, correct? Not royalty or importance, he just uses his glory. I have no relationship with him. I have his title of his son, but they all, they all know I live with my mother. They seem to just avoid that whole situation as if nothing happened. Training was difficult. How was yours? Someone who cares? You honestly think because of my title is easy? Not by any means. I can think it could be highly. I can think it could be highly stressful. Watching her be uh, able to calmly pay you kind was fascinating. Then fire to add to it. Fire isn't controlled overnight. She flashed a shade of pink in, on her cheeks. It's true. I got burned a bit. So what do you have? Earth, right? You chuckled. Nope. The weakness of Earth. How did you become a wind? It gasped Ella. I tried to figure that out. No idea. My only loss is to my father, obviously, and Sune. Clearly bad matches, but I think I figured out a way. At least I'll see if it supports my theory. Need more film. Sal is trying to process how this battle is going to commence. What did you do to someone? Uh, uh, what you do did to someone with an opposite blazer ability? Did you try and block him away? I tried to at first, just to see his level. But sure enough, outside of being an Earth, the other problem I have is his strength. I'm fast as wind; he's slow as a rock. But he's a strong brute, and I'm a wimp. Simple as that. That loss was hard to overcome. But I found better ways to better myself, just not fully. Stella was shocked how someone battling through a complete family mess could recover so quickly. Uh, almost, almost, anyways. So how did you do it? My father, the king, set me up. He helped me. Who helped you if you couldn't? I had to keep the mentality from my mom and learn from footage. Training suited me well to a point, though I'm not sure if it's my element or what. Whatever distance or my strikes, I'm not sure. Though I think I'm a bad match for you as well. What do you mean, she snapped. Wind and fire. My wind can't cool flames. Just make it stronger in the sense. Plus, your, with your power, it will overtake me. Hey, you're not weak. As much as you hate it, you're Eric Vaughn's son. Pull yourself together. Those fighting words, those encouraging statements rang true. She has a heart shiny and gold as her sword. Maybe if I'm correct, I know why. It's pick and choose. It's percolating slowly. Got it? I do not have accurate statistics in time and strength. However, I know I can swing faster than Sune. I have no idea about you or Iki. Uh, if I'm right, should probably be a second or a second and a half to strike. I highly doubt it, but if I'm quicker somehow, I might have half of your strength. I've tried so much. Hey, well, hey, all of us are, are here because we proved ourselves. You're clearly strong. You're B rank. You didn't get that because of your name, right? I might have. I don't know. Maybe just losing fate. But hey, I can't lose hope. Gotta keep it alive. I have great friends here, and when Sunny shows up, I'll blow him I'll blow him down or die trying. You flash a smile, thumbs up. She seems a whole lot better now. Well, I got news for you. Our qualifiers are coming up. Let me see a good show. I can't root for you, uh a flock the whale, Sir Viking. I can always cheer you on, even if you don't need it. I just know what you're cap I know what you're capable of. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down with me for a few minutes. I just want to shower off and rest. You joining us for training tomorrow? Another invite? You are so on. Maybe some strike training, if you don't mind this. A, pres a princess to train you? Sounds like the fairy tales are coming about. Running and kicking in. But you're hoping uh, you're hoping you're just going to be a friend. Going to take a little note on that. How, uh, this is like another note. How does one win a heart of a princess without freeing her from a home, castle or home? How does a guy get out of the friend zone? I've been there. I honestly don't know. No tell uh, romance tip on that one. 
So yeah, so like I said, I'm going to stop here on this uh, uh, chapter five. If I didn't either share before or not, uh, there's a total of 30, I guess, th yeah, 37, I guess, total. But like in ter total, you know, there's the chat, the prologue uh, chapters one to 36, I guess, 30 or 7, 38 entries, I guess, here, if you want to call it that. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we will continue this some other time.